Hello, it's Father Samuel Hakim in Chicago with a word of hope for the solemnity of the Sacred Heart. Well, today our church throughout the world celebrates a love story, the love story of God with his people, the love story of God sending his only Son into our world, the Word becoming flesh, becoming a man to save us, to redeem us, and to show us the way to do so by loving us and loving to the full. Now, often when we think of love stories, we think of something very romantic, something very beautiful and precious or whatever. But this is a love story that's very grounded and very real. And we ought to take note. We celebrate today the significance that, yes, Jesus Christ did become one of us that he did love us to the end and continues to love us to the end. We hear him say in his Gospels that no greater love exists than for one to lay down his life for his friends. And so he does. So he does for us. But it's not enough for Jesus to just love us and for us to receive that love and be redeemed and good enough and okay, we'll move on and someday look forward to heaven. No. He gives us that love. He exchanges our hearts of stone for his own perfect and sacred heart, allowing us to love with the love of God himself. We hear this reminder in the first letter of St. John in our second reading today, perhaps my favorite passage in the entirety of the scriptures. This imperative to love one another because love is from God. We hear it said there that no one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. What a beautiful thing that we can make God manifest, that we can point to God for others just by loving them and truly loving them. This is the love story that we celebrate today on the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart, that Jesus Christ gave us his love, that we might be made whole, and more than just whole, that we might become images or beacons of God to a world that needs to know him. So celebrate love today with all that you meet, and have a blessed Solemnity of the Sacred Heart. And God bless you.